Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.15.0 update video. As you guys should know by now, it's my job to keep you guys informed on the things that are being confirmed for the next big update. We have some interesting things confirmed in today's video. They're not the greatest features, however the list for 0.15 is definitely growing and I'm really excited to get my hands on the first beta which I'm quite convinced is going to be very very soon. Also in today's video we kind of have a sneaky horse screenshot from the developers. So going back to April 19th, Tommaso did post this saying first try for 256 high worlds, not a success. Now looking at the image to be specific, it looks very similar to the Minecraft Farlands. It seems he's made it either too big or the terrain just literally didn't generate properly. It looks like you, you can see the void there, so no bedrock layer was included. However, 256 high worlds will be introduced to Minecraft Pocket Edition and of course, uh, Minecraft Windows 10, meaning that you can build a lot higher. Now the build limit is quite high, but the 256, it's gonna mean that people can extend their world a lot more. I can see a lot of people making some epic hunger games. I can I can see this being a lot useful for Minecraft servers as well. So everyone, it looks like 256 high worlds are coming in 0.15. Along with that, he did announce a little while back that ravines are gonna be introduced as well. Everyone did expect them in 0.14. They weren't introduced. Fingers crossed with him changing the terrain with the height limit, ravines will be introduced as well. Then yesterday, Jason Major posted this saying, sometimes a picture is a bunch of words. He's currently holding a name tag in his hand and you can see the pig says oink oink, the sheep says ba ba, and then the cow just says moo. Also, in this image we do have something sneaky which I'm gonna show you towards the end of this video. But name tags are gonna be um, in Minecraft Pocket Edition. They're gonna spawn the way they do on Minecraft PC and on Minecraft Console Edition. This means that you do have to go and do a little bit of hunting for them, um, but it's great because you can name your animals. And I think the main reason he's introduced name tags to this is because in the same image, you guys can see right at the back, that is in fact a horse. You can just about see his head sticking up. I don't know if he meant to do this as a sneaky screenshot, but that is like a, a really dark horse just popping his head up. You can only just about see his head and his back. So horses coming to Minecraft Pocket Edition. We're yet to see any tweets from the developers. That was kind of the first sneaky screenshot we have seen from Jason Major. I think horses is one of the most uh, wanted feature. Horses also mean we're gonna be getting horse armor. Um, and the great thing about horses, guys, is that they're just, they're so useful for traveling your Minecraft worlds. Especially if you break your Minecraft Pocket Edition world like me and my Let's Play, it's great to get from A to B. One more thing I wanna talk about as well is this specific image. Now going back to, I think it was last week, one of the Mojang developers tweeted this for Minecraft PC, but also said it's coming to Minecraft Pocket Edition. They're kind of like the Herobrine skeletons, which I'm really excited for. Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.15. The update just seems to be getting bigger and better. Again, we have no announcement on the beta, but I am convinced it's coming sooner rather than later. And as always, I like to keep you all updated with the news in the community. So if you do enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Take care, stay beautiful, and as always, have a great day. Bye.